so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial again. My other one was my everyday makeup tutorial. I, everyday eye makeup. I think, I don't know what to call this. Maybe like peak perfect. I don't know. It might not even be called anything. This is going to be a beige pink tutorial. I seen someone wearing it the other day and it looked awesome. And I thought, let's recreate it. Because I just looked at it. I never got to see. Like I never asked her. You know. How to do that or anything like that. So I'm going off my instincts. So yeah. I'm going to do the lips. And the eyes. So let's go. Okay so the first thing you want to do. Is get an eye primer. This is the elf eyelid primer. Yep. Eyelid primer. This is in sheer. I don't even know why I tried. This didn't focus so well. Oh well, it's in sheer. Just quickly, you would put a lot on the eyelid, or at least I do, and put like little smudges onto the deeper along and up. So very gentle. Corners under I always say gentle and it always looks like on camera that I'm going really hard. I'm really going gentle. Are you mixing this in? Or rubbing it in? Now I'm going to be taking a liquid liner. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio in charcoal, which is the thing that it comes with. She'll take this, dab it in there, putting it on my waterline. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is to take a light, light beige. This is from the L'Oreal Hip, which is high intensity pigments. This is the color I'm going to be taking, only this side because I don't want to be using orange. I'm just going to be taking a flat shader brush or whatever it is. It's just an eyeshadow brush. It's this. Putting it all over my lid. The only reason I do not zoom in all the way on the eyes is because it will not focus that well. Here, I'll show you guys. See? So that's why I don't do it. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking, since it's all of my lips, I'm going to be taking my, oh, my Claire's palette. This was like, I don't know, $12 or so. It's very cheap. It was like $12, get the other one half off. So I got a glitter one. Did I get the wrong thing? Yeah, I got the wrong thing. Never mind. Off clear palette. I'm going to take the this Mark palette. Um, maybe my sister got palette has a blush and two eyeshadows. Whoops! I did not know that I had a mirror in there. So these are the colors. I'm going to be taking this color right here. This is 
sparkly pink, but honestly any color pink will do. Just I don't exactly have a matte pink. So just taking a dome brush, which looks like this, it's by Echo Tools. Get the brush, tap it off. to crease the layers. And into the inner corners. Where is it? Oh, my Lancome palette, or quad. Why did I say palette? This is in for romance. If you can even read it, I don't know. And with my Essence of Beauty highlighter brush. Well, it says eyeshadow, but I'm going to be taking this white. It's a very matte white and it's very pigmented as well. Onto my brow bone. As well into my inner corners. Because you don't want anything sparkly in there. Well, you can, but. And I usually take a little bit and put it right down the center of my eyelid to give me a little effect of pop. I'm just fixing this up. And now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Eye Studio again and just lining my upper lash line. I cannot do this with camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, now moving on to mask. Well, not mascara. I'm not doing mascara today, but if you guys were to wear this out, I would recommend you put mascara on. It's just, I'm gonna wash this off right away because, like, my eyes hurt right now. I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you guys, and I don't know. It's I don't want anything to bother it. It's just a quick makeup tutorial for you guys. It's just I really do like it. My lining is very bad. It's just I was trying to get it done. So I'm just curling my eyelashes. Focusing for some reason. I like it. It's my opinion. So yeah. Now moving on to the lips. Let me close this before it goes all over the floor. It's the Nivea lip balm. a little bit before I apply a lipstick or anything because it just glides on smoother and you don't have to apply so much if you apply it chapstick. So I'm using this Revlon lip butter, that's all I have mostly right now. It's the Revlon, I mean this Revlon, and this is in Peach Parfait. Now, gliding this on to my lips. Because if you have chapstick, you can rub your lips together very easily. Maybe 
Maybe I should call this Pinky Parfait. I don't know. Because this Peach Parfait. And I'm doing pink. A peach. Yes, I'm gonna call this Pinky Parfait. Pinky Parfait. Okay. So this is the finished look. I'll give you guys a close up. might be uploaded today but it also might be uploaded tomorrow because I don't know when my internet's gonna be hooked up because some people in construction decided just to cut it so our phone isn't working nothing's working right now so it'll, I'll try to get it up tonight all right hope you guys have a nice day okay bye